<laughs> I want to see your cheeks glow red, red, red. <laughs> Hey Bubble Babes, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany, a welcome. So today we're filming a very exciting video. We're starting off my Halloween series for this year and we are starting with a clown. I love doing clowns because you can literally do one every year and make it your own. It's gonna be different every time. You could use different colors, you could follow along. Follow along with my video if you want, but overall, I just think it's a fun look. So if you guys want to see this look, then go ahead and keep watching. Also, make sure you are subscribed so you see all my Halloween looks for this year, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting with the base, I'm gonna prime using my Tatcha The Silk Canvas. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Too Faced concealer per usual and just conceal any under eye veins that I have before we go in with like lighter colors. For foundation, I'm using my Jouer foundation and this one is a little bit lighter and I did that on purpose because I still wanted a flawless lighter base but I didn't wanna do like white face paint because I wanted a more kind of almost realistic look but not so because it's still light. And we're also going to be adding a lighter concealer as well. I'm using this L'Oreal one, but it wasn't light enough for me. So I do go in with a white concealer. I used one from ColourPop and I'm just going to highlight with that until I get the effective look that I want for like a clown. Like I said, I still want to look white, but not super like face painted on. What's really weird is I love doing like clown makeup looks, but I'm terrified of clowns in real life. Are you guys? Let me know. I mean, pretty clowns I'm not scared of, but scary clowns or just like regular like old fashioned clowns. Those are so creepy. Okay, and to go ahead and set that, I just used a translucent powder and one with a white base. Usually I'll go in with a more yellow toned kind of translucent powder, but for this look, I wanted to look whiter, so I went in with the Anastasia one. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm taking this pink and packing it on my inner corner. I want to do like a super blown out eyeshadow look. And so I'm first starting with a matte pink and then I pack a shimmer on top just because I want to have a really blown out shimmery look. And the same thing with this green right here, except for this, I am mapping out the clown shape because that is the center of attention. So I'm just creating that little point above the brow. It doesn't have to be anything precise because we are going to go on top of it with more like pigmented products later on and so right here I'm putting on the shimmer it's not shimmery enough for me so I do go in with some like glitter later on and some other things you guys will see and then for the outer part I did use like a baby blue color and I did the same thing with the matte first and then a shimmer on top you guys could use any colors that you want that's what's really fun about clown looks you could literally do whatever you please and it always looks good and so I am creating a little bit of a wing shape because I want it to look super blown out like I said before this is that glitter I was talking about. So this is from Rude Cosmetics and I did use a glitter glue with it and I'm just going on top of that green. You wanna be more precise with the glitter because it is more pigmented and you wanna get that nice sharp clown look. And now I'm just going over that baby blue with a more shimmery baby blue. Now for the lower lash line, I stuck with the same colors that we did on the top. So going in with the pink first, then the green, and then the baby blue. Now with that green, I am mapping out the same shape that we did on the top to create that point and that clown look. And then for my brows, I had to do pink. You guys know I always gravitate towards pink because it's my favorite color. My hair is gonna be pink, but it's a different pink, but we're clowns, so we're colorful and different and we could do whatever we want. Um, so I'm just applying a pink eyeshadow to my brows with an angled brush. And I felt like that worked pretty good. You could use any color, like I said. Um, my brown hair still kind of shows through, but it's fine because I don't know, it just adds dimension, okay? Now I'm taking these little things that I bought at Hobby Lobby, they're kind of like holographic little pieces. I used them in my nail video and I'm just putting that on top of the green just because like I said, I want that to be the center of attention and to really pop out. And then I'm just doing a regular liner. I'm not creating a wing because like I said, I just want it to be really blown out and not precise. Now I'm going to take this Suva Beauty Hydra Liner. It's a neon yellow shade and I'm taking a nail art tool 
that's for your nails but I love to use it for makeup and I'm just creating little dots all over the eyelid I just think it's really fun and adds to the look and then I apply my lashes these are Tati lashes and I use top and bottom lashes um, I love the way they turned out by the way I'll have them down below but I'm contouring with a purple eyeshadow and you want to be careful and make sure you stick with a small amount first because this is eyeshadow so it doesn't blend out like a natural contour shade and I'm just cleaning that up with that same translucent powder we used earlier and for my blush I did use the same pink eyeshadow that we've been using on our eyes the matte one just because I wanted my cheeks to look super rosy for my clown nose I just went in with that same color and kind of buffed it on there it looks super cute um, and then I took a pink highlighter and highlighted with that this is pillow talk from Ofra and it looks so cute on the nose look at it it's like a little button nose for the lips, I went in with this hot pink shade. And so what I did was just like line my lips like usual. Um, I'm not going in super precise though, because like I said, I just want everything to look smeared and like blown out. Then I just took the edge of this little eyeshadow brush and kind of smeared out my liquid lipstick and also went in with eyeshadow. I'm just making everything look super smeared. And that's how I created my like little clown smirk. So like I said, I did make my clown collar myself. So I took this little tuli and also this band. I bought both of these at like Michael's and it's meant to make a tutu. And I just looked up how to make a tutu on YouTube. And I basically did the same thing, but smaller so it would fit around my neck. So you just tie this band like around your knee or like something. Um, and then I took this cardboard and measured it out with this just so every piece came out like almost the same size so we didn't have any inconsistencies. Um, and I did this with all the colors. So I took the blue and the green and the pink and all made them the same size and cut them down. Then what you're gonna wanna do is just tie it onto the band. As you guys could see here, you just keep it on your knee. You wanna tie them individually because if not, and you try to do it the easier way by tying multiple at a time, which I did try, it just didn't look right. And so I'm just taking whatever colors I need and tying them around. As you guys could see, Ozzy was very interested in this toolie right here. It is now his toy. He has claimed it, but it's okay. I got my use out of it. It is that simple and then you just pop it onto your neck. You don't want to mess up your makeup so be careful. Then for my hair I did not want to fix it so I just threw on a wig. So I put my wig cap on and I'm using my wig from insert name here. I almost forgot the name. Um, but it is this pink kind of purpley bubblegum wig. I love it. I love the bangs. I love the cut. It's just like my original cut, but my hair is growing out. So it kind of brings me back to when I first got my hair cut. It's so cute. I feel like it really makes the neon makeup pop because it's not a super bright pink. And that is your finished look. So that is gonna be it for today's clown look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you do recreate this, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I am gonna be posting Halloween pictures on there and also reels. So make sure you guys go follow me on there as well. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, Brittany Raquel, go ahead and subscribe. I post every week for you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>